Good morning, good morning, good morning. Today is Monday, April 8th. And I say that because today is the day that I leave to go to Montana. So um, finalizing all my suitcases right now, finishing up. I got two orders in for David and Goliath, so I have to pack up those really quickly and get those to the post office on our way to the airport. Tosha and Shepard are still sleeping and they need to leave in an hour, maybe a little bit less, but today's the day that uh, I head back out to Montana to start my journey back into uh, Yellowstone, season five, part two. I am only bringing two full-size suitcases and then two carry-ons. I wish I had a third full-size because then I would just bring three full-size suitcases and that'd be it. Um, but I'm gonna do three full-size suitcases and two carry-ons and um, that should suffice. Uh, you know, when you just start packing, you just kind of like start pulling more and more. That's not, that's kind of what's happening. Um, like, honestly, it was in a good space. And then I was like, oh, I need like my underwear, socks, all that stuff, which I thought about just buying when I got there. I mean, I landed like five something PM. So I could just like go to the store and get new underwear and new socks and just, and new tanks and just call it a day. Um, but then I was like, well, I also need shorts and like sweatpants to walk around the house in, um, which I could still all buy there. So I'm kind of talking myself out of it. I might not actually pack this extra suitcase and I might just buy all when I get there. Doesn't sound like the worst idea. It would definitely help me. Cause then I don't, that's an extra bag that I don't need to bring. But this is just like a pile of extra clothes. Like I said, socks, all those things. So I could legit probably buy all this stuff when I get there. I was like, well, maybe I'll bring a week's worth and then I'll buy more cause I need to like replenish and replace a lot of this stuff anyway. I think I'm gonna bring one pair of sweatpants and I'll just buy everything when I get there. It'll probably cost me like 150 bucks, but I gotta pack these orders real quick, so. Let me get that done. All right, orders packed. I'm gonna pop those down by the door so I don't forget them. Also gonna move my suitcases by the door so I don't forget those. <laughs> Imagine, go all the way to the airport and forget your suitcases. That'd be crazy. Let me know in the comments what's like the craziest thing that's happened to you guys at an airport. For me, I think it's just missing a flight, like getting to the airport. Oh, this is what happened. Wow, that was kind of crazy. So my craziest, my craziest airport story is I got all the way to the airport, was kind of in a rush, made it through TSA, holding on, like, you know, running to my gate, getting there as fast as I can. And I get to the gate and it's closed. I'm like, bruh. And it was, I was a little confused because I had like three minutes to spare. And I was like, bruh, I was like, how do you close it early? Like, that don't make sense. And then I look and I ran to the wrong gate, bro. I had ran past my gate. So I had to run all the way back. And of course, by the time I got to my actual gate, I had, I had missed my flight. So that was the craziest thing that happened to me. It's tragic. I almost forgot my phone charger. I almost forgot my switch. Yes, I play Switch. I actually just started playing Fortnite. I used to be really into like Call of Duty growing up. Um, even outside of growing up, like into my adult life. And then, you know, you end up getting married and you and your wife end up fighting about video games. So for me, it wasn't worth it. And then I felt that the like, Switch would be a good compromise because I could play the game, but not be on the TV and not be so sucked into being in one place. So. I got a Switch, I'm really loving it. And uh, yeah, now I play Fortnite. But I think I've got just about everything I need. Oh, let me put my watch on. Open up this bad boy. If you guys have been watching my vlogs for a while, you saw when I got my watch, which is um, Cartier Tank Divan. I'm not really sure how to pronounce it, honestly, because I know it's D-I-V-A-N. I think it's, yeah, I looked it up, but I couldn't remember. So I have to go back and get the pronect, the, the pronect, the correct pronunciation. Um, but this is my watch. I had a different color strap on it. So I just went and got the strap switched out at Cartier. 
before I left. Um, the strap that I had on before was like a turquoise um, alligator strap that was, um, it had like a glossy finish. Uh, so I switched over to the matte black crocodile strap, which I am um, a lot more, I'm a lot happier with this one as of right now my season of life and the other one was like it was toast bro like it was completely fried so and yes i travel with my box because it's important to take care of your belongings so yeah, this light is crazy um so yeah i travel with my, with my wash box i had like a little travel pouch i just can't find it so i'm just gonna use all the box for now um got my neck pillow bring my skateboard of course I gotta get busy while I'm out there skating. You know what I'm saying? They do have some pretty cool skate parks in Montana, so I'm excited to get out there and skate during my leisure time. All right, guys. Let's hope I got everything. I mean, I'll be back in a month, but which is why I'm deciding to leave my skateboard this time. I just have too much stuff, so to also try and carry a skateboard is a lot. I'm coming back for Mother's Day, which is literally like a month and like two weeks away. So when I come back from Mother's Day, I'll make sure I bring my board. Um, and uh, yeah, let's so get these suitcases out of here. Oh, and guys, I got my idea for Tosha's Mother's Day gift already. I just, um, gotta do it but i already know what i want to do i'm excited actually she's gonna love it oh, i hate mismatched luggage i need to get another remote it's already on my list to do but now it's official because i'm actually getting on a plane i haven't traveled in a while so I got the little boy and the big boy. I need two big boys. Hey, yo, no diddy. No diddy, no diddy. No diddy. All right. Let's wrap on home for a month. Get my packages. Got that best wife in the whole world. Uh, Nobody dropped it. All right, first stop, USPS. I need to do better with my marketing for the brand. What's in these packages are two of these hats. My red David and Goliath Trucker hats. I'm honestly not in love with them anymore, and I think that's why I haven't been putting any energy towards them, because I want to do more for my brand. Just not really in that space right now. Excuse me, I'm gonna sneak right behind you. Thank you very much. All right. Sugar. All righty. Love you. Mwah. See you in a little bit. Honestly, really hate saying goodbye to my family. Didn't want you guys to see it. Um, but we're good. This was probably the best goodbye that we've ever had as far as like me heading out for a little bit. Um, but faithful, gonna be praying a lot, gonna be talking a lot. Um, and like I said, I'll be back home in a month for two or three days and then they're gonna come with me back here. So just be a long month and a half. Bruh, I hate TSA. I got pre-check, still had to come out my shoes, still had to take my belt off. Just, I never make it in because of all my jewelry. And that's one thing I don't do. I do not take off my jewelry in the airport because I take it off, I lose something, something fall off, some like, I'm not with it. I've only done it a handful of times, mostly at like international airports, to which I just won't wear it. Um, but yeah, it's just annoying. Like I do all this stuff. I got cowboy boots on. Like y'all still tell me, take it off. 
So annoying, but I might go to Delta Sky Club. Didn't have the longest visit to Sky Club because um, I didn't get to the airport very early, but I was in there for about 15 minutes. Got to eat some lunch, which is all complimentary. And uh, now I'm heading to my gate on a full stomach, which is amazing because airplane snacks aren't always the best for me because I don't eat any dairy. So they're pretty limited, uh, but it's also a short flight. Um, but because I didn't eat anything this morning, I wanted to make sure that I put something in my stomach, had a little bit of water, um, and now I'm heading to my gate, which hopefully is a short trip, but we'll find out. And we back on the ground. We're in Salt Lake City right now here for like an hour and a half bought some headphones so i assume you guys can probably hear me a little bit better but i'm at the sky club again the food here is trash this time so i might leave and go pay for some food elsewhere um or i might just thug it out and then eat when i get to montana i'm not sure yet but i do have a bag of popcorn in my in my bag right now that i would love to eat so maybe i'll just munch on that but I wanted to save that for the plane. I'm gonna save that for the plane. And then when I get to Montana, I'm gonna actually like have a proper meal um, before going to my spot. So you guys will get first view of the crib in Montana. I'm tripping. I was over here having a chill time, not realizing that it's time for me to go to my gate. But um, I'm heading there now. I'm glad I noticed. Apparently my plane's behind schedule anyway. But something just was telling me, it was like, double check. Cause I was paying, I was thinking about the time that the flight took off, not the time that, not the time that it actually boarded. Finally made it. They even redid the whole airport. I ain't been here in over a year. This airport is completely different. I mean, they were redoing it the last time I was here, but I, I just totally forgot. So it's nice to see that it's done now because it looks amazing. All right, guys, got my rental car, but just wanted to show you guys the landscape because we are definitely in Montana. They gave me a freaking van. Because I need a large SUV for work, but it's always a van. So, I don't know. I might combat this later, actually, and be like, yo, is there anything else that you guys can give me? Because I really don't like driving vans, especially a white van. But we're going to see. Should I just ask now? I'm going to ask now. I'm going to ask right now. But, yo, is there anything else other than this white van? Like, it's got to be something. I really just don't want to drive a van. I'm gonna go ask him right now and see. Oh, almost had him. He literally was like, yeah, bro, I'll do it. I don't really care. Um, however, I think that because it's a work rental, they must have put like a lock or a hold on the vehicle um, because he was like, the system's not letting me swap it. He was gonna put me in a, uh, a Jeep uh, Grand Cherokee, which would have been more my speed, but it's all love. I'm gonna make it happen. I just hope this man got a car play. That's all I got to ask. Oh, that was crazy. All right, guys, so I'm starving. Um, I have a 48 minute drive now. It was 54, I've been on the car for a little bit. I was on the phone, which again, I gotta get a camera that I can vlog with because 
vlogging on my phone just gets so annoying sometimes. Um, but man, it's, I haven't been here in like probably like two, two years, I'll say. Maybe a little bit longer, maybe a little bit less. I don't know, but it looks so different. Like, I know my spots and like I know, you know, certain places that I like to eat and all that stuff. Like, I knew that there was a Chipotle close to the airport, all these things. Um, but as I'm driving, I'm just like, bro, this looks like mad different. But, but I'm gonna stop vlogging and driving now because, uh, yeah, I am in Montana and I do not want to be pulled over in. Montana. So, uh, with all that being said, uh, I will catch up with you guys when I get to the crib in about 46 minutes. All right, guys, just made it to the house. It's kind of cold. Turn the heat on in this joint. That sounds nice, though. Who goes there? Man, I feel like Sharper's gonna be scared of that thing when he comes, but. It's the house, you know? Garage, kitchen, went downstairs, down there. Um, but I'm gonna grab my stuff first and then I'm gonna, cause I don't wanna walk around the house with my shoes on. So let me get up in here. This is the front door. I'm not gonna turn all the lights on, but there's the living room. Y'all saw him earlier. What up though? Um, it's a really nice modern spot. This is the kitchen area, which I really enjoy. Um, the garage is in there with the minivan, of course. Uh, this is my room, the king size bed, master suite, which is cool. Suitcases, closet, um, one bathroom. Then there's another bedroom in here, which is cool, obviously. And then closets everywhere, which I, I'm sure you guys don't care to see. A little breakfast nook. Right there. Then there's a lower level, which I will turn the lights on for. And then down to the lower level are two more bedrooms. So there is a oops, bedroom in here. Super chill. One bathroom. And then another bedroom down here. So four bedroom, two bathroom. Laundry, you know, it's a cool spot, a little situation. I've told all my friends, guys, come pull up, get a free stay in Montana, basically, because all you gotta do is pay for your flight and the flights are mad cheap. Um, the flights are like 300 bucks round trip to come here, honestly, so super cheap. Show you guys a backyard too, if I can get this thing open. It's really small, but there's a backyard there. It's small and chill, but there is a backyard. Um, I think that house right there is the neighbors, that thing right there. I'm not sure. But anyway, there's a backyard here, which is cool. Um, actually, no, that might be ours. I'm not sure. But backyard here, super chill. And that's everything. It's the full kit and caboodle. I'm honestly not the type of person to fully unpack the day I arrive anywhere. I probably will unpack in the morning because I'll probably just put the same fit on tomorrow. I'm going to work at the office, like, and there's nobody going to be there. So, but instead of my cowboy boots, I'll put on my hokas. So I'm comfy and cozy. I also just remembered that I have a whole burrito to eat. I ate my, <laughs> I ate my chips in the car, as you guys saw. I need to eat my burrito. I'm pretty tired, actually. I figure that you guys might want to might want to know, Justin, how did you pack to be gone for five months? And I'm going to show you what I packed. This is literally everything that I have. So I brought one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pairs of pants. Now. These are David and Goliath. Obviously, these are BTFL Studio. David and Goliath. These are actually some Levi's shorts that I haven't worn yet. Um, Vince's Levi's, David and Goliath, Levi's again, BTFL Studio. So, there's some synchronicity here. All the pants are all three different brands and that's it. 
Um, but this is literally what I've been wearing lately. So um, I just kind of stuck in that routine. And then kind of same thing, some of the tops, like it's a range of different things, but I also like to color coordinate my closet. Um, it's a mixed vintage, mix of different brands, but all stuff that I've just been wearing a lot of. So I've got four different vintage jacket iterations. Um, I've got like a little vintage poncho. I mean, not vintage, gray worm denim poncho. Um, another vintage, another denim jacket here, denim shirt. Oh, actually one of these is a denim shirt. Um, three plaids, two green jack, like, you know, I mean, you guys can see, but not a lot, you know, this is kind of going to be my uniform. Uh, and then I got my boots here. So those are my daily drivers. I love those boots. These are my Carolina boots. You guys, I get a lot of questions and compliments on these boots on Instagram. I've had these for a while. I actually got them here in Montana. Um, but I had these boots for a very long time and they are holding up like little to no heel drag. I mean, there's definitely some there, but it's not a lot. The leather just gets better and better. And then I, of course, put red laces in them. So, uh, I, I, yeah, I love these. I love these boots a lot. Then um, my next daily driver, obviously the Gweedies, which you guys have seen. Got the Vistim for the rainy days, pair of Vans, pair of Chucks, and then my Hoka's. Hoka's are definitely going to be like an office shoe. Like if I'm in the office a lot, I'll have those on. I got my climbing shoes in the back. I'm going to try and go rock climbing here indoors as my like my fitness thing to keep me in shape and then just my two uh flip-flop sandals and then yes i did bring t-shirts and stuff uh this is all the new stuff that i bought underwear socks all that stuff and then i've got shirts in here so um this like dirty brown margella tea i actually dyed this myself i didn't even dye it i just stained it with oil so it's an oil stain tea double rl henley that i got Love this thing, vintage, thermal, long sleeve Harley tee, long sleeve shirt, graphic tee, and the white tee that I have on now. And then a pair of sweatpants, and then the rest of these are just t-shirts also. So uh, Levi's gray tee, another graphic tee, graphic tee, graphic. This is a tank actually, so it's sleeveless. Um, long sleeve and then a red thermal sweatpants. And then in here, I have all my hats and belts and stuff. I just kind of threw them in there. Um, so, and then these two drawers I'll save for Telstra when she comes. But I am, yeah, that's everything that I brought, guys. So not a lot for five months, but I'm really looking forward to seeing what happens with my style as I continue to minimize. This is honestly how I would like my closet at home to look, but We'll see if I can get there at some point. I'm about to shower and get settled. I'm tired and it's that time. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. I will try my best to give you guys some behind the scenes and stuff like that as far as, um, oops, as far as set goes. I won't be able to do a lot, honestly, because obviously there are NDAs and everything involved, but, um, as much as I can, I would be happy to show you guys uh, just my life here. So whether that be on weekends, whether it be, you know, actually during the week sometimes, who knows. But as of right now, I will see you guys on the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching and uh, we'll talk soon.